everyone. So this is going to be the review for The Commuter. Um, a little bit about the film first. The Commuter is uh, about a man named Michael, a uh, businessman. He, commu he commutes from New York to Tarrytown every day on this train. Um, he's played by Liam Neeson. Um, and one day he's approached by this mysterious woman named Joanne, who's played by Vera Fargmigna, um, where she basically tells him that there's somebody on the train that doesn't belong, that doesn't ride the train every day, who's going to be getting off at the last stop. Um, and he has to find her, and if he does, he gets a, a $100,000. If he doesn't, um, like everybody in his family is going to get killed or something along the lines. Uh, the only information he has is that he sh uh, this person is getting off at the last stop and will have a bag. So, a little deal on. Um, and so, the entire movie is basically him trying to find this person and trying to figure out the mystery of what exactly is going on. All right, that's the, the gist of the film. It's an action thriller. It's a Liam Neeson type taken movie. Um, you know, my quick review is, it's a Liam Neeson film. It's, it's like another taken um, it was not really original, actually. The plot was kind of tr contrived. Um, at first, you didn't have really a lot to go on, so, I mean, that's what caught my interest at all, was just, like, so you're given two pieces of information, and you have hundreds of people on this train. How are you going to nail it? You know, how are you going to figure out who it is? So there's a little mystery. Um, but most of the time, um, actually, I was kind of bored. It was kind of slow moving. Like, you just watch him walk up and down, up and down the train, and look at people and make people feel uncomfortable as he looks at them and then you know it goes on to this oh we're trying to solve the mystery can he do it he's just this regular guy but his family's gonna die um not really a lot going on it's kind of like speed meets taken meets the board game guess who um kind of all together and um, the plot is so thin and so like they throw a red herring in there on purpose and you kind of spot that early on um, The characters are on there. It's you know, it's also kind of like um, the Oriental Express But more modern day and not with so quirky characters Anyway, um, not really impressed with this film. I mean, it's Liam Neeson uh, and honestly I think that Liam Neeson needs to retire these type of movies because he plays the same character and it's the same acting in every movie and he's so much better than this type of movie I mean last year he was in silence which was an amazing performance and he wasn't this person trying to you know save hostages and he has a certain set of skills um, go back to being a Jedi if you want to be you know a superhero again um, or be a lion because that's always a good role but um, Liam Neeson you're much better than this move on please um, the only other two people I want to pull you know want to highlight in this movie is Sam Neill Love Sam Neill. I mean, he's, uh, you know, the guy from Jurassic Park, and I really like him from Merlin, so it's always a treat when you get to see him. And finally, um, Jonathan Banks is in this, and I was actually happy to see him. He was in it for a little bit. If you don't know who Jonathan Banks is, um, he plays Michael in Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. He's Mike, and he's, like, one of my favorite characters. He's a fun actor, um, so it's great to actually see him in a movie. I'm always excited when I get to see my TV actors in movies even if it's for a little bit anyway that's my little review of the commuter um nothing to shout about eh, it was i guess it entertained me for two hours actually i was a little bored um so where does it fall in my ranking well i uh have to pick between molly's game or the commuter and if i had to pick one or the other which one would i watch uh definitely i would pick molly's game in a heartbeat over this one uh, Molly's Game was just more intriguing and more original, even though it was a true story, um, than The Commuter. So right now, The Commuter has the honor of being the worst movie I've seen, falling at number two out of two movies. All right, guys, um, that's it. And if you have any comments about the film or if you disagree, um, I'd like to hear your insights or if, what other movies would you like to see Liam Neeson in that is not like a Taken movie. All right, uh, that's it, guys, and um, thank you for watching. All right, bye.